Okay, after I just imported my flower here, uh, I'm going to go over a little bit more about putting text on the screen. One of the things you can do is you can copy and paste between different types of uh, web pages and things like that. So if you go back to the internet and we're going to go to our Wikipedia, Wikipedia. And oh, I was talking looking for digital cameras here, but what I really want is we're working with flowers now, so we're gonna hit type in our search box, flowers. I'm gonna hit search. And then we have some beautiful text about flowers and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to kind of copy and paste. So I'm gonna highlight the text that is on the Wikipedia page here. I'm gonna hit my control C on my keyboard. I'm gonna go back to my Dreamweaver. And I'm going to put my cursor under the flowers, actually next to it. I'm going to click next to the flowers. And then I'm going to paste by hitting my control V. Now you'll notice it comes with the links that were there earlier. If you don't want those links and things like that, you don't use the control V. Let's look at a different way of pasting. I'm going to undo that for a moment. I'm going to go under edit and say paste special, paste special. And in the paste special, I'm going to say text only, text only. That way when I paste, the, the links that were on that will not come over. So we have some, we have a title up here, I like flowers, we have a picture of a flower, and I just imported some text that I stole. Now you'll notice the text is not next to the flower, and we'll, we'll, we'll learn how to wrap our text around the, the picture there in a moment. But before I do that, I'm going to kind of give my title up here a little bit bigger text up here. So I'm going to put my cursor up where it says I like flowers, and I'm going to go down to my properties window. And the properties window is primarily where we're changing things, adding things, doing things. One of the things I want to do is I want to add a, a heading tag to my title up here. And usually you would use heading one for your title. It's the best one for your title. And if I add that, you'll notice it's a lot bigger. The other thing you might want to do is is adjust your heading one. So if you don't, if you're sick of times, we're going to be using something called CSS, and in CSS is a way of formatting the um, things, and we're going to use that CSS for all the formatting of things like text and wrapping the picture, oh, text around the picture. To do that, I'm going to click inside my text again, and I'm going to go down here where it says CSS. And down there, I'm going to click on the font down here where it says font, and I'm going to choose a new font. I'm going to choose Verdana. So again, it's clicking in the properties window, CSS, and then I can go to font, and I'm going to choose Verdana. And it's going to ask me for a name. Uh, it's asking for a class, but we don't have to necessarily change a class. We can change the H1 by changing the option up here where it says selector type, and we can go down to where it says tags, tags right here. And that, what that means is we're going to redefine a HTML element, and the HTML element that we used before was the H1 that's up here, and the, and the, the book uses the H1 all the time, too, and here's the H1 right here. In fact, they explain how to use the CSS options using the H1 as their example in the CSS basics chapter. So in this case, if I go to H1 here and I hit OK, it's then going to change it, and you can see now it's using the, the, um, uh, the Verdana. In addition, we could have changed the color if we wanted to, to blue. How about that? Hey, that looks pretty good. Next, one, I want to actually wrap the text around my flower here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the flower a floating option. What that means is either you can float it on the right side or the right side or the left side. And when you float a picture, the text will then wrap around it. To do that floating again, we would have to use another CSS. To do that, I'm going to actually make a new one, and I'm going to make what's called a class. So to, to start from scratch, because earlier what we did was we clicked inside the picture here and then we went to down here and changed it under CSS down here. But another way of doing it is to bring up that CSS window that we had here before. Remember I talked about the pop-up windows that you would have over here. If you don't see any of these windows, an easy way of doing it is to go underneath the window and it'll pop up once you click on it there. So uh, I'm going to make a new one here. See where the new CSS rule is right here? I'm going to click on it and I'm going to go where it says class and I'm going to call it picture and then uh, I notice how I put a dot in there class always starts with a, a period I think you'd have to put it in first I'm not sure if it'll do it for you automatically and then I hit OK and then uh, I'm going to go to where it says well let's put a line around our picture so, so it has a frame I can go underneath what's called border right here and I'm going to give it a solid 
kind of thin and let's give it a nice color how about a brown there we go next I want it to float so if I go underneath where it says box you'll notice there's a float option here and so where, where do you want your picture to be floated on the left side or the right side we say right or actually let's just say left I'm gonna say left right there and I'm gonna hit OK so after I hit that float left it didn't do anything well I haven't applied the class to the, f the f picture of the flower yet so I'm going to click on the flower I'm gonna go where it says class down here in the properties window down here where it says class I'm gonna choose the picture option you will notice the text and it gets the line that we gave it when we made a new class and then the picture and then the text wraps around the picture so that's one way of going about it and uh, and that's an easy way of oh I got the, the things all start jumping together and things like that so if we want to see what this would look like on a web page we could either preview it now they have this live view thing here um, I don't really use that often I more often we use the this world looking icon that's up here that previews inside a browser to do that I click on this and go to where it says preview in Firefox but the first thing it's gonna ask you is hey you haven't saved your page yet so I'm gonna save it and then hopefully it'll pop up in my browser so this is my first uh, looking web page and uh, uh, it's a good way of previewing again it's underneath that little world in the top corner there let me minimize this again it's up here at the very top that's how you can preview in one of the browsers you can see what it looks like in Internet Explorer Safari I have on this computer also uh, the last thing I'm going to demo for today will be the the um, copying and pasting a video or maybe a map I'm going to put my I'm going to hit the enter key a couple times this is probably not the best way but I just want to get my uh, my cursor underneath my flowers here so I hit the return key a couple times you probably really don't want to do that because um, it's not very good code you'll see I got a bunch of extra p tags in the, in the, in the window here somewhere down here oh, well, there's a bunch of p tags down here and that's probably not the best way of going about it but it it's there Next, uh, if you want to import a video, you can do that easily from any. So one of the things that we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll do a lot of copying and pasting from different web pages into our web page. And one of the ways of doing that is to copy and paste code from another website. So if you want, you can do weather if you want. We can even go and get the weather. Go to weather.com. You can type in an address. And you want to see uh, what's it going to look like in New York. Type in New York City, or just New York. Search. It'll give us some. Give us some nice little uh, forecast. Oof, that's gonna be nice. And whenever you're looking on a web page like this one, you'll notice there's a share option. Wherever you see a share option, like on a photo website or even on YouTube and things like that, that means there's code in there that you can copy and paste on your website. So in this case, I'm gonna hit the share button here, and I'm gonna hit where it says copy you want to use the embedded code here so I'm gonna copy the embedded code I'm gonna copy then I'm gonna switch back to Dreamweaver I'm gonna go and of course since it's code that we're using I'm gonna go back to the code view here and I'm gonna paste in there by using the control V now I'll paste a lot of stuff in there don't have to really worry about what it is if you go back to design view you say oh I don't see my weather well that's because you're not live in the internet you're 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 inside of Dreamweaver. If you want to see your weather inside this window here, you can have to go and preview like we did earlier. If I say preview in Firefox, again it's gonna ask me to save and I hit save. And if we look at it again, we'll now have the weather from New York on our web page. Okay, so you can actually um, copy and paste. So wherever you see that share that you saw there is where um, you can copy and paste code into a web page. Okay. So let's close this for now. Um, let's try another one. I hit cancel here. Let's go to YouTube. And on YouTube, we'll do the same thing. Let's search for flowers. Flowers. There's got to be some videos on flowers. Oh, there we go. Flower red rose blooming. So if I click on a video, okay once I have my video I can then oh there's that other share button again I can hit the share button and I can go I'm not gonna 
copy the actual link that there again I want to use the embed code so there's an embed option in Dreamweaver right here or, or in, in YouTube and again I'm going to copy this by hitting control C to copy the code here I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver and let's put our cursor after our weather a couple times where is there down 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 a little bit and again I so I hit return a couple times to get my cursor underneath the, the weather and then I'm going to hit the code view and in the code view I'm going to paste again I'm going to paste it's in a p tag down here so let's just uh, put a cursor in one of these p tags here and hit control V and it paste the code from YouTube and if I go back to my design view you'll see I have a box but again since it's not live I can't really see it so I'm gonna save and then I'm going to use the Firefox again save and preview and if I preview you'll notice um, let's see here we go in my New York. Oh, here's my rose blooming. And then I can watch my video right on my website. So there's a lot of ways of sharing, and, and I'll demonstrate some of those in this class. But uh, just practice some of the things I just did uh, to get a warm up to, to, to how Dreamweaver works. Uh, you've already saved your file, and you say, well, where's my files and things like that? Well, in Dreamweaver, every time we save, we have our index file there. So if I quit the application, go to my desktop you'll notice my web page is in here I have my index file is in my HTML file and my picture and all the other things are linked files from other web pages so that's how it works